Welcome to IF, videos on money, politics and conspiracy. We post videos every week, press that subscribe button and never miss a video again. Water is essential to all life on the planet. Access to clean drinking water is a basic human right and, sadly in many parts of the world, a right many still do not have. As we look to the poorer countries and help them secure this basic need, we have taken our eyes off the ball at home. First world nations do not give much thought to water unless there is a problem, pollution or drought bringing the issue to the forefront of people's minds. But are we slowly losing this right and not to accidents or climate change but to big business? Is there a plan to privatize water? The current chairman and former chief executive officer of Nestle, the biggest producer of food products on the planet, believes that the solution to the world's water problems is privatization. This plan coming from the company that has introduced junk food to the peoples of the Amazon, invest massive amounts of cash to stop the labeling of GMO produce and has a cyber army at its disposal to crush criticism and discussion on the internet. This is the multinational monster we are meant to trust to manage our water? This group having a documented history of creating shortages. These giant international companies are given water well privileges and tax breaks. This often over an area's population's rights or because they are said to produce jobs. Next time they are thirsty, let them try drinking a job. Firms like Coca-Cola and Nestle suck up millions of gallons of water. The water they use to produce the sugary soft drinks leading to shortages in areas. And even with this being common knowledge, company chairman Peter Brabick believes that access to water isn't a public right. He has also stated that it's not an individual's right. He wants privatization. Is this a man and corporation worthy of our trust with something that is so essential to all life? This is beyond money. This is power. We could be giving up our humanity. The access to water allows us to build our cities and towns grow our food and many other things. Is this a level of control we want to give to a company with a less than ethical history? Here is one example of the company's regard for the general public. In the small Pakistani community of Bahati Dalawan, a former village councillor says children are being sickened by filthy water. Who's to blame? He says it's bottled water maker Nestle which dug a deep well that is depriving locals of portable water. This water is not only very dirty but the water levels sank from 100 to 300 to 400 feet, Delawan says. Why? Because if the community had H2O piped in, it might deprive Nestle of its money-making market in water bottled under the Pure Life brand name. So let's take a look at this cap. Do we want or need a man who chooses profit over life in control of water? I think not. But he is not alone. Water is a right and should be conserved for the benefit of all. Yet industrial agriculture uses and pollutes a disproportionate share of this resource even as millions of people die every year for lack of clean water. This scarcity only helps to increase water's value as an economic commodity and multinational conglomerates are eager to profit from this deteriorating situation by buying up water rights on every continent. Today about 90% of the world's freshwater stocks currently remain in public control, but 
privatization is becoming more common as cash-hungry governments increasingly cannot afford to maintain and repair crumbling municipal water purification and delivery systems. Historically however, in places where privatization has been established, it has proven to be another cause of rather than a solution to chronic water shortages. This because corporations are more concerned with making money than serving people's and communities best interests. Water privatization has led to corruption, lack of cooperation and accountability, loss of local agency, weakened water quality standards and steep rate hikes that eliminate poor people's access to water. Clean water is a basic human right. We know this. We carry this message across the globe, helping those without access install the necessary systems to manage their water. We believe we are helping, but are we really just installing a system that will eventually be privatized and used for profit? Are we giving the corporations the infrastructure they need to enslave the planet? This may seem like an extreme idea, but what if we face that very threat at home today? It will spread in the future. Let's not allow access to water to become a privilege or enable it to be used as a weapon of societal control. Let's keep it in the hands of everyone. What do you think? Is water privatization a good thing or a bad thing? Let me know in the comments below. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. Maybe give the channel a subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time.